Is your character a Luke, a Leia, or a Han? Let's look and see if you're writing your backstories wrong, and we will start right now. Welcome to the Dungeon Master's Apprentice, and I'm your opinionated Dungeon Master. So let's talk about backstories. Let's look at Star Wars. It contains the three classic prototypical backstories, the known backstory, the unknown backstory, and the hybrid backstory. Let's start with the known backstory. Han has this type of backstory. Nothing is hidden from him. He knows his entire life. But did George Lucas? Did Mr. Lucas write down everything that Han did before he started writing the script for Star Wars? Of course not. He knew that Han had made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs, but did he even have an inkling about the, most of the content of the movie Solo? I doubt it. But this is what most players are creating. The players at the time of character creation, or even before, write down all these tantalizing bits of the character's life up to this point. Who his parents are, his past exploits, close calls and funny experiences, sometimes created with the DM's help, but many times made completely alone. And then the player gifts this creation to the DM to integrate it into the campaign world. DMs are told not to prepare, to create the minimum, not only because most of it will not be used, but because later play might suggest a vastly superior creation. With characters, it's the same thing. If the player shares his character's backstory with anyone, including the DM, it is locked in. They are stuck with their original version without the ability to vastly alter it. Of course, small bits can be tweaked, but it's not the broad strokes. For players playing characters with this type of backstory, this is what I like to do. Whenever a character gains a level, I ask the player to add to that character's backstory. One paragraph of new backstory content. This keeps the original backstory small and focused. Then, as the character advances, the world learns more about the hero. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please take a second to subscribe. It really helps a lot. Luke is the second type of backstory. He thinks he is just the orphan son of this moisture farmer, and he was raised by his aunt and uncle on the family farm. His backstory is unknown, and to a lesser or greater extent, it is controlled by the writer, or the DM. If Star Wars had been an RPG campaign, the player that was playing Luke would have been just as surprised as Luke was when Darth Vader said, No, I'm your father. Now, allowing for the DM to control the backstory is a major sign of trust, and it's not for the faint of heart. What if the DM does something you don't like? It's like that old DIY show, Trading Spaces, where people remodel a room in their neighbor's house. You didn't watch it to see what they came up with as much as wanting to see how the owners freaked out when they saw what their neighbors had done. I've only done this a couple of times, and I can say that once it failed miserably, and once was a fantastic success, so... Leia has the third type of backstory, the hybrid backstory, a mix of the known and the unknown backstories. She's a member of the Rebel Alliance, she is the daughter of Bale and Brea Organa, and she grew up as a princess in the planet Alderaan. Or so she thinks. We all know that in reality her backstory is much, well, more. Here again, if this was an RGP campaign, with the player's permission, the DM introduced major plot points as a hidden part of Leia's backstory. Some may ask, what is the difference between Luke and Leia's backstory? They are both hidden. Well, yes and no. It's a matter of degree. Everyone, I hope, would agree that a character who starts first level with little memory of his life before, for whatever reason, like Fallout New Vegas, would have a hidden backstory, right? Well, does a simple, nothing exciting ever happen to him, ho-hum life, before the adventure count the same? Especially if lots of interesting things exist to be revealed to the character as the story unfolds? For me, it does. Whereas Leia's original backstory is in itself complete and could stand on its own, filled with possible plot points, a hidden portion of her backstory really adds to the campaign. I ran campaigns with all of these styles of backstories, and I've enjoyed them all, to a point. 
Longtime viewers may have come to the conclusion that I hate character backstories from some of my previous videos, but that's not the case. What I dislike, can I say hate, is that players who write up 20 plus page intricate backstories introducing new countries and areas of the world and gives his characters powers, connections, and knowledge that as the DM and creator of the world finds that it just doesn't fit. Other DMs may enjoy this and more power to them but it's just not for me. If you love the novelette backstories, leave a comment explaining why I'm wrong for not liking them. And if you agree with me, or not, then try one of these other videos on the screen right now. Maybe we have other opinions in common or other things to argue about. But until then, adventure on.